Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about radicchio and I've got some tips and ideas for you for when you're using radicchio. Radicchio can be somewhat bitter and that flavor pairs well and can be tamed down by pairing it with something sweet, sour or acidic, fatty or salty. So remember those combinations. Some suggestions would be to pair it with citrus fruits or pears, pomegranate, tomato, balsamic vinegar, walnut oil, anchovies, cream-based dressings or sauces, candied pecans, salted meats like bacon, black pepper and provolone, or parmesan or gorgonzola cheeses. Any of those would fit that criteria of sweet, sour, fatty, or salty. Remember that for cutting the bitterness in radicchio. One way you can use radicchio would be to cut it in half, brush it with a little olive oil, and then grill it. When you're finished grilling it, drizzle it with just a little bit of balsamic vinegar, lemon juice, or even some honey, and that'll make it really yummy. Try a salad with radicchio, mozzarella cheese, mango chunks, and a little bit of basil on top. Add radicchio to a mixed green salad and dress it with your favorite vinaigrette dressing. Again, the vinegar in there will help to reduce that bitterness that's in the radicchio. You could try using radicchio leaves as like a cupped shell for serving some type of a salad like chicken, tuna, seafood, potato, rice, or even a fruit salad. You could try cutting radicchio into wedges, brush it with a little olive oil, top it with some cheese of choice, and then broil it until the leaves turn like a reddish brown and then serve it. You can add radicchio to soups, rice, legume dishes, pasta dishes, omelets, and tofu. Try sauteing radicchio with caramelized onions. The act of sauteing the radicchio combined with the sweetness of the caramelized onions will help to improve the flavor and neutralize any bitterness that's in the radicchio. If a recipe calls for radicchio and you just don't have any, can't find it in the grocery stores at the moment, you can substitute for it Belgian endive, curly endive, escarole, arugula, watercress, or even a red oak leaf lettuce. In case you're wondering, it is not advisable to freeze radicchio. It will lose its flavor and it'll be very bland after having been frozen. It'll also lose a lot of its nutritional value as well once it's frozen, so try to eat it fresh as long as you can. Don't overbuy on it any more than you can eat before it spoils. I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.